Hi and welcome to this QuickBooks training video. My name is Lance Wilkins. Today we're going to talk about a new feature in QuickBooks 2011. And that new feature is called multi-instance, which basically all that is, is it means you can open more than one QuickBooks file at a time. It's very simple to do. You can see on my desktop, I have the sample company, sample rock, or rock castle construction open. In order to open another instance of QuickBooks with another company file, I'm just going to restart QuickBooks like I normally would. I can pick it off of my menu, my start menu. I can double click on the uh, desktop icon. However, I would normally start QuickBooks. Now you can see it's coming up here. You have the little icon uh, there as it pulls up a second instance of the program. And then we get this uh, window that tells us there will be a primary window, a secondary window. There's a learn more link there to give us more information. And the uh, QuickBooks help file does have quite a bit of information about what you can do with two company files open and what you cannot do. And there are some restrictions. For both company files, the main restrictions are basically um, anything that uh, accesses the SDK, what is called the Software Development Kit. So any add-on uh, software that might access your QuickBooks file could be disabled for both company files. Uh, that includes even things that come with QuickBooks. For instance, the Loan Manager, uh, Intuit Statement Writer. There are uh, pieces of QuickBooks that are actually little outside programs that access the main program files to the main company files and those would be disabled by having two company files open. Beyond that there are some additional restrictions on the second the secondary company file. That's the one that we're opening now. I'm going to pick the service-based sample company. That's Larry's Landscape. Uh, payroll is largely disabled. You can't do much with payroll. You can't do much with budgeting. Uh, and there are some other restrictions, as I say, those are all uh, detailed in the QuickBooks help files. But basically, just know that you can't do payroll, you can't do budgeting. There are some other restrictions then as well that you will, uh, you will find in the documentation. Now, that said, there's a lot more that you can do that you, than you can't do. I mean, uh, you know, I can create bills and checks and invoices and so on in both. I mean, I can edit customers and so forth. This will be a very useful feature for those who have two uh, company files with their QuickBooks. Now, you can see right here, so I've got two company files open. You can see both Rock Castle Construction and Larry's Landscape. So uh, there we go, and I can work in both of those now with those restrictions. Now, as long as we're here, I want to show you one other thing. I'm going to move over here to the primary company, and I want to move to the Preferences window. There is, in the general section, this checkbox now that says QuickBooks running for, or keep QuickBooks running for quick startups. What that is, is if you check that checkbox and leave that setting, then QuickBooks will always be running on your computer whenever your computer is running. Now you won't see it, the window's not open, but it's running in the background. The advantage to that is that it makes QuickBooks start much quicker when you need it, and that's been another request that Intuit has received is, is there not a way to make QuickBooks load faster when we click on that icon? Well, this will do that. It will make load, uh, QuickBooks load much faster. Now, the trade-off, of course, is that any program running in the background, and QuickBooks is going to fall into that category, is going to consume some of the computer's resources. So if, uh, you know, there's a certain chunk of RAM that will be used by QuickBooks, and if you don't have a lot of RAM on your computer, or you have an older computer, you could see that um, there's kind of a general slowdown, and maybe some of your other programs are not running as quickly as they used to. And if that's the case, and you have set this, then you will want to uncheck that checkbox and, and not use that feature so that your other programs will get the resources they need to run correctly. Well, I hope that's useful. There are a number of other new features in QuickBooks 2011. We're going to be documenting those in the next few days, and we'll be uploading videos on those as well. Thanks.